Hello and welcome to episode 140 of The Pilgrimage on FM23. I'm Jamie and coming up on today's episode I've got two games for you. We're at home to Celtic in the Europa League league phase. I'll then play Genoa in Syria off camera and I'll bring you back to show you the away game against Inter in Syria. And as you can see, we've made a near perfect start to the season. So let's see if we can continue that today. And the team to face Celtic is coming up in just a moment. Okay, here is the uh, team then for the game against Celtic. It is Ado in goal, back four of Denia, White, Dorrington and Quacquarelli. Delcor at the base of midfield, Tonino and Lavia ahead of him, Teixeira on the left, Batili on the right, Stamenkovic up front. So let's submit the team and go and give a team talk. Okay, my assistant is recommending carry last performance into this match and will do well. Given the uh, start we've had to the season, I think that's excellent advice. So we'll outstretch the arms and agree with him. And uh, let's go into the tunnel. Uh, both teams come into this one in good form. How do you rate your chances? Um, I enjoy these matches a lot. Um, how will you look to build an impressive performance against Palermo? Good form breeds uh, positive confidence. Um, a couple of changes. Gianni Edo and Jean-Philippe Teixeira coming in. Settled side then. Uh, they've come in, but I didn't want to change too much. Absolutely. So let's get the match underway and see if we can uh, start the uh, episode with a win. And uh, it's played in and cleared off the line. And uh, Celtic are making the early running and will have a corner. Denier blocking it away. And it will be an outswinger from uh, Erlarte. And it's headed away. Uh, Batili gets something on it but can't uh, keep possession and the highlight does come to an end with the ball on the halfway line so uh, let's demand more Celtic are uh, very much the better side at the moment uh, Quacquarelli wins his header though Batili continues plays it back to Dorrington finds White into Tininho Lavia into Teixeira, out to Batley on the right, who's given it away, and they get it clear. White wins it back, Delcor to Tonino, Lavia into Stamenkovic, who's miles offside, that's not even close. If this stands, I will be absolutely amazed, it's not even gone to VAR, it's straight offside. And uh, we're 16 minutes in, still no uh, shots on target officially. Uh, to share his ball in the header now from James White. That's his first goal, and it is uh, Juventus one, Celtic nil. Somewhat against the run of play, but we'll take it, and that takes us to the uh, top of the group. And it's uh, a corner, and it's cleared partly, headed away, and then smacked clear by Romeo Lavia, and the highlight comes to an end. So, good response uh, to the uh, the goal from Juventus. So, uh, good to see that we're trying to keep the pressure on. Lavia's free kick now. White with the header again. Uh, Mainland with a comfortable save for Celtic. And he launches it long. Delcor wins it. Finds Denia to White to Dorrington, to Quacquarelli, infield is Delcor, over the top for Stamenkovic, and this again is going to be close to offside, it's not given, we will get the corner, and Teixeira with the in-swinging corner, to the far post, headed away by Louis Jackson, and out for a throw-in, and uh, we are second in the group as it stands behind Newcastle. 
So let's go and um, say we're doing well. We can definitely find another gear. I think we can. So let's um, take Quackquarelli off and bring on DAE. And we'll take Tininho off and bring on Pamela. And that'll do for now. So two changes. And let's get out there for the second half. I'll have a swig of coffee between the, uh, the highlights. And we've got another one, but it's given away immediately. Although Lavi has won it back, finds Teixeira, Stamenkovic, Teixeira again, goes out to the left-hand side, looks for support, gets it from Dania, who shoots, and Pablo Dania makes it Juventus 2, Celtic 0. And that might well be the goal that wins the game. It certainly deserves to be. Stamenkovic is playing really poorly, so he's going to come off in a moment. And I'm also going to take off Lavia, I think. But not until after this highlight's been allowed to develop. Uh, McGonagall to Jabur. Uh, Lavia wins it back. Pamela to White. Dania into Teixeira. Into Stamenkovic, who shoots... And finds the back of the net. And that's Juventus 3, Celtic nil. If it wasn't over before, it is now. And I think that changes the uh, the need for substitutions. I think we take Dalcor off. And also White. So we'll do both of those now. Uh, Cedric Dalcor for... Um, Stoyano. In fact, we'll bring on Mancuso. We'll then put uh, James White into defensive midfield. We'll drop uh, Romeo Lavia back. And then James White can come off to be replaced by um, Stojanovic. Stojanovic can then go in to right back and DA then can replace Lavia and I think that probably will do. So we'll confirm that. And we've got one more sub remaining. So we will use that um, towards the very end of the game. No need to use it yet. I might not even use it at all if we don't need to. Uh, Newcastle are going absolutely uh, goal crazy by the looks of it. And uh, they are well ahead of us. Right. Um, yeah, we need to take off. I think we need to protect Stamenkovic. So I'll bring on Patrisco. And he'll just play the last couple of minutes. And there we go. Full time. Juventus 3. Celtic 0. I'll uh, play the next match off camera. And I'll be back with the second match of the episode in just a moment. Okay, well, having won the uh, Serie A game away to Genoa off camera, it's now time to uh, face Inter. So uh, the team for this one is Ado in goal, back four of Dinia, White, Dorrington and Quacquarelli. Delcor at the base of midfield. Toninho and Lavia ahead of him. Garnaccio on the left. Batterly on the right, Stamenkovic up front. So let's submit the team and go and give a team talk. 
Okay, my assistant is once again suggesting carry your last performance into this match and we'll do well. Um, I think we need to try and change it up a bit, really. Um, let's point the finger and say, I expect victory here. We cannot afford to lose to our rivals, no matter how good they are. And uh, that's motivated them, so that's good. Uh, will the first goal be crucial? Goals win matches, always helpful to be scoring first. Um, Inter are in good form. Uh, we have to be focused and ready to work hard. Uh, it's always a tremendous occasion. So let's get into the match and see if we can keep this uh, incredible start to the season going and uh, try and extend the uh, the lead over Inter, who are immediately behind us in the table. A draw, not a disaster by any stretch of the imagination in this game. As Quacquarelli gets to the byline, plays in Batili, who gives the ball away. And uh, it's played forward by Krattenmacher. Edo comes out, finds Dorrington. He crosses halfway, plays it forward for Batili, keeps it in play, into Lavia, Batili again, loses the ball, and we're losing possession far too easily. Hugues in and has managed to uh, find Krattenmacher, who finds the back of the net, and it is into one, Juventus nil. Not the start we were looking for. So we're going to need a demand more immediately. And we're going to need to uh, have a look at where things are going wrong. In terms of the uh, average ratings, it's definitely uh, the left-hand side that's the cause of the problem. So the question is what we do about that. And we, we are still top of the table and going to be top of the table. So let's demand more. And then at half time, we'll make a couple of changes. So there's the half time whistle into one Juventus nil. So angry, we're being embarrassed. And we're going to take off uh, Denia. For Mancuso, that's a reasonable swap. And we'll take off Garnacho for Teixeira. And that'll do. So we'll get out there for the second half and demand more immediately. And hopefully we can show a little bit more in the second half. We need to get at least one goal back. And we are now second in the table as it stands. Level on 19 points with Inter. To share his corner though. Stamenkovic's header and he's hit the inside of the post. And it's cleared behind for a corner. So close to uh, the equalising goal. To share his corner. Into the middle. Headed away but Lavia will collect and give the ball away, so not ideal. Morales back to Abrazesi, and the highlight comes to an end. And I think now we need a double substitution of Batali and Stamankovic. So I'm gonna do both of those at this stage. Uh, Amara Batali um, will bring on Ian Smith and then up front Stamenkovic for Petrisco and that's our fourth substitution just looking to see whether we can use any of the others constructively DA could come on um, in fact let's get him on at right back as Quacquarelli's on a yellow card. And uh, let's see if we can get something out of the match. And the 
highlight continues. It's a corner to Inter, but uh, we don't get to see it. So let's demand more. It's played into the box. The header hits the crossbar and Edo picks up the, uh, the rebound. Uh, Ramirez's goal kick launched long and Hugh Gray plays it back to Fawkes. Forward ball cut out by White who finds Dorrington. Plays it forward for Smith. Nowhere near him though. And Patrisco to Lavia to Teixeira who gives the ball away. Ramirez is forced into a hurried clearance. DA finds Smith who crosses and it's played back for Lavia. There will be a question mark of offside. Is it going to count? It looks like it will. And it is Inter 1, Juventus 1. So we return back to the top of the table. And hopefully we can hold on to that. And uh, take the point. We haven't really deserved it, but we'll take it and we've got it. So there it is, Inter Milan 1, Juventus 1. I'll be back in a moment to show you the league table and tell you what's coming up on the next episode. OK, time now to take a look at the uh, league table. And as you can see, with eight games gone, we are top with six wins, and two draws and no defeats as yet. 20 points on the board, three more than second placed Inter, thanks to that late equaliser. So well, let's take a look now at what is coming up on the next episode. And I think what I'm going to do is bring you back for the Europa League game against Athletic Club and the home Serie A game against Napoli, one of our rivals for the uh, Serie A title. So if you've enjoyed that, please leave a nice thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for Monday to Friday Football Manager videos. Thank you very much indeed for watching and goodbye.